Hello CA, this is Colleen Inwards. I teach Spanish at Concordia in case you don't know me and I get to bring you your light break for the day. Light break, yeah, and it's kind of gloomy today. It's actually kind of cold and let's be honest, it's been three weeks going into our fourth week now of this online school thing and sometimes that just gets discouraging and sometimes we feel just stuck. And that's what I wanted to talk to you about today, what um, God has been talking to me about when we think about being stuck. And I have to go back and reference Rebecca Vincent, who is um, a great colleague of mine at Concordia. And about three years ago, she spoke, she had a great sermon or a great chapel message all about being discouraged. And she said one of the best things that helped her was reaching out to others. When you feel stuck, reach out to others. What can you do in love for others? And so I have some verses I want to share with you today. Um, Proverbs 17, says, a cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. And sometimes we feel that. So Hebrews 10, 24 says this, and let us consider how we may spur one another on towards love and good deeds. Let us not give up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but let us encourage one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. And I really love the message translation. So I have to just read you a little bit from there. Um, and they put it this way. Let's see how inventive we can be in encouraging love and helping out. Um, so today, that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to invite you along with me. Um, two books that I just love, Bob Goff talks about Love Does, and Oshita Moore, um, in her book, talks about dropping love bombs, which is just a way to surprise somebody with something unexpected. And so today, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do for my love bombs. So when you're thinking about doing this, you have to first ask yourself, what do I have? What could I make to give to others as a love bomb? And so the one thing that I can do kind of decently is I can make treats. So today um, I made some biscotti. I'm trying to show you here and I'm going to drop that off at some neighbor's houses. Next up, I have a book I finished reading. I'm going to send it to my mother-in-law because I know it will bring her a little joy. Next, I'll leave some beautiful chalk drawings. Oh, Bridget Nelson, where are you? I need you. And now for the fun part. It's like ding dong ditch, but fun. So the rule is you have to just use what you have in your house, including old gift bags and whatever balloons were left over. And I hope that stays. And then you run really fast before they catch you. Okay, it's time for my next um, love drop. I have to go to the UPS store to mail my package. Okay, and time for our last love bomb today. My husband bought all of these daffodils and I decided we could part with one. So, right outside Mrs. Vincent's house. And time to run. So thanks for coming with me today um, on my little love bomb run. I don't know if you feel better, but I feel a whole lot better. So think about what is a way you can encourage somebody else and go do it.